What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve radical inequalities, all right? So let's start with this example right here. So we have three times the square root of x minus one is less than or equal to 12, all right? So we're just trying to solve for x, right? So let's try and get rid of some of this stuff. Let's get rid of the three first. So we'll divide both sides by three, those cancel out. So then we're left with the square root of x minus one is less than or equal to four, all right? Now here we have a square root or radical, right? So in order to get rid of a square root, you just have to square it. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then here the square root and the squared exponent cancel out. So then we're left with x minus one is less than or equal to 16, right? Then here we can just add one to both sides. So we get x is less than or equal to 17, right? Now, one extra step that we have to do Whenever we're solving a square root, uh, so if you're solving just a normal square root or a fourth root or a sixth root or an eighth root, so basically if you have an even number out here, right, square root basically has a two. So if you have an even root, an even uh, index is really what this number is called. The one extra step we have to take is we have to take whatever's inside of our square root or fourth root or whatever and set it greater than or equal to zero. Okay, and the reason we have to do that is because uh, whatever number we get in here has to be zero or bigger, right? We can't have a negative number inside of a square root, right? So that's why we have to take this one extra step. So here we're just gonna say x minus one is greater than or equal to zero. So then here we'll add one to both sides. So then we get that x is greater than or equal to one, okay? So as you can see, we get two answers, right? x is greater than or equal to one and x is less than or equal to 17. So we can basically combine those in just one line and we can write it as, and we'll just put the x in the middle. So we'll say that x is less than or equal to 17, but x is also greater than or equal to one, right? So then this would be our answer here. All right, here's another one. So we have the cube root of x plus seven is greater than or equal to three. Now here, since we're dealing with a cube root in order to get rid of that, you can just cube the whole thing. And again, what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then on this side, the cube root and the cubed exponent cancel out. So then we're just left with x plus seven is greater than or equal to three cubed, which is 27, right? So then here we'll subtract seven. So then we get that x is greater than or equal to 20, okay? This would be our final answer. And again, here we would not have to set this radicand, the thing inside of the radical equal to zero, because here we can have a negative number, right? We can have a negative number inside of a cube root. So if you have the cube root of a number, the fifth root of a number, the seventh root, right? If this number out here is an odd number, you can definitely have a negative number in there and you don't have to do the extra step. All right, let's try one more here. So we have negative two times the cube root of x plus four is less than 12. So the first thing we can do here is get rid of this uh, negative two by dividing both sides by negative two. Those cancel out. And here we're left with the cube root of x plus four. Now, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, like we did just now, right? We divided both sides by a negative number. We have to flip our sign. So here we're gonna say greater than, right? and then uh, that's equal to negative six, okay? So then we're just left with the cube root of x plus four is greater than negative six. Here we can again cube both sides. So then here those cancel out and we're left with x plus four is greater than uh, negative six cubed is equal to negative 216, right? So then we'll divide both sides, by, or subtract four from both sides so then here we get x is greater than negative 220. Kind of a random answer, but correct nonetheless. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.